know. How you spell Ecclesiastes? Ecclesiastes. E C C L E S I A S T E S. So the, the word heart. And we, what what chapter? That was chapter seven, verse twenty six. I'll start again. It says, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and necks and her, her hands as bands. Right? So it's like a trap. Bands are a trap. Bands are like uh, the modern day bands are handcuffs. You ever heard the term, man, damn, she handcuffing that thing. You heard that term before? Oh, he handcuffing her. Those are bands, right? I'll write down, those are bands. He says, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. Like I said, that Hebrew word for heart is uh, love, right? Yeah. It means your mind. That's what it means, right? So. Her heart and her mind, she always trying to figure out, yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, hey, hey good looking out. There's no reason to make me block. Yeah, that's good. In her, in her mind, she's always thinking of how she's going to trap me. Especially when she like you. She really like you. She trying to figure out how I'm going to get this dude basically to be with me forever. And that's the main trap they do is get you to have a kid. So they know they got 18 years. They got you for 18. Solomon knew that. Solomon, hey, he had a thousand women. You know, brothers down here, you know, brother, some brothers ain't had one woman their whole life. They have no clue. Some brothers had 10 women, some 20. When you get up to 20 and 30, you, you, you in your mind, all these bitches ain't shit. But somebody who ain't had one woman the whole life, you can't tell them that. He don't believe that. Solomon had a thousand. He said, what he find more bitter than death is her. See, like I said, the scriptures, when I read in a proverb, these scriptures are pure. So, hey, if Solomon said you damn right, I'm going to believe it. I'm going to be looking at it. I'm going to be watching it. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, this is one of the, like, I, there's a lot of brothers doing what I'm doing right now. They got women, and that's their main thing when they get together, man. They talk about how hard it is to do this right here. The study for having a woman. Or she gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? But Satan gonna come to her to try to get through to you. Just like in the beginning with Adam and Eve. He didn't come to Adam, but man, no, man, we have, we can discern. That woman can't discern like us. That's why Satan came through that man to come to her, woo, woo, woo. And then she went to him. Because why? You, you love your women, you love your wife, you, you want to love her like yourself. That's why it was easy for Adam to go off. Just said, uh, uh, the women turned Solomon away from the Lord. Yo, they had they had Solomon build them shrines and shit, so they could worship. And they had him coming in there, so turn them. You know, the Lord said, "Don't deal with." Them. This is uh, I read that again. Please ask in seven twenty six. I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. Whosoever pleases the most high shall escape from her. So if you <laughs> so if you're trying to please the Lord, you basically ain't gonna deal with it. Because you can put all your attention to these scripts, right? It says, but the sinner shall be taken by her. So the sinner gonna be taken by that woman, man. You know? This is what, hey. Cold facts, man. Yeah, but eventually you're gonna get taken by somebody. Well, you know, if you know, if you got, they talk about it. If you got, like, see, I don't have one. I don't have one. I ain't had one in nine years. When I started doing this, I knew, man, no, nah, I ain't dealing with it. But I'm a man. That burn gonna come on you every night and have sex. So, hey, do just like the Lord had Jose to do. Go out, find you a hooker, you buy the shit. You buy it. That way you ain't got to worry about because you know once you deal with a woman and she got another man she's dealing with, that's adultery. If you come deal with her, 
Because when she deal with you, she's going on to deal with you all her life. And if you die, then she can release to deal with somebody else. As long as you there, she ain't supposed to deal with nobody. But what do these women do? They'll pop him, pop you, pop me, pop him. Now all of us is in that midst of sin, adultery. The Lord said we're going to be an adulterous generation, man. So that's why you pray every day for sins you commit unwillingly. It's sins you, I mean, them women will tell you, I ain't got no man. Shit, I ain't got them. Man, she just broke up last week. That DNA still on her. You know? She'll tell you, I ain't got no man. Just cause she like what you ride in, or you didn't pull out a little bit of money in the club. She, but we all caught up in there. Man, the whole world caught up in there. That's why we were constantly praying. books that the Bible destruction group in the uh, they took out things in the 1800s they took out these 14 books because if you buy a, if you buy a 1611 Bible the Apocrypha is in between the Old and the New Testament the Apocrypha is part of the Old Testament right but the Bible destruction destruction group in the 8th 1826 I want to say correct me 1826 I think it was they took the books out, right? That's why a lot of Bibles you see, they don't have the Apocrypha in them. The Apocrypha got that heat in them, man. I can understand why they took it out. I'm gonna read you, read you this right here. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 25, 13. It says, give me any plague but the plague of heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. He said, give him any wickedness. This is Solomon, man. You gotta remember, he had a thousand women. So he know about those women. Like I said, most Jakes, in their lifetime, they might have 20. <laughs> it says, uh, verse 15, there is no head above the head of a serpent. There is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. I rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a weak woman. Solomon said he rather dwell with a lion and a dragon. So what's gonna happen if you if you dwell with a lion and a dragon? What's basically gonna happen? They gonna kill you. So he said he rather dwell with something that's gonna kill him than to dwell with a woman in the house with a wicked woman. Cause not all women are, you know, like, some of them are mild mannered men, for the most part. But it's a big percentage of them are wicked. It would be a blessing to have a woman that don't really uh, mess with you while you get the scriptures, she understand what you're doing. If she want to actually live by what she's supposed to, that would be a that'd be a big blessing, but hey man, you, you, hey, you find that good luck. You know? It says uh verse 17, the wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkens her countenance like sackcloth. A wicked ass woman, you see her, man. You know her. You know you see her when she get mad, man. It's like a face change to something else. You know, you might come home and see her and be like, damn, I got to deal with this damn monster, man. You know? And it says, her husband shall sit among his neighbors, right? Sit among your brothers, your neighbors, right? You sitting around, you watching the football game, you know, having a little fun, checking out the game, a few beers, knocking down a few beers, whatever. 
It says when her husband sits among his neighbor, and when he heareth it, it says when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. Boom, what he, what that's talking about when you sitting among your homeboy, they see your woman coming. Oh shit, here come Trey woman, man. You know she tripping, man. This is crazy the motherfucker. Everybody basically, damn, feeling sorry for you right in your face. That's what that scripture talking about. Oh, really? They, they sigh. Yeah, they sigh. They sigh. They sigh. Like, ooh, You know, when she leaves, they talking shit about you the month they step. Boy, that nigga got rough, boy. They looking at you sitting there like, man, fuck you. That's, that goes on in, in life. That's life. That happens, right? Yeah, man. I, 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 I got to uh, move, bro. Hey, well, you know, I move, bro. You know what I mean? Now, now my spirit is telling me to tell everybody else. You feel me? So I can't just be sitting around here. You man, know, what the same spirit, time. Man. Get them scripts. You got, you there got, you, go. you got. Uh, I need y'all to pray for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> pray, just pray. Pray. Hey, use that name. Turner, brother. I'm going to use it. Use that name. Cause you know where we're going. You know how we do. We pray for the elect. So if you part of that number, you in the prayer. If the Lord, the Lord brought you through here for a reason. Yeah. It's either for you to wake up, keep reading more, come back. Cause you know, get in this brotherhood and help push this truth, or it's for you to your destruction. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Oh, so, I, 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 I